Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this image. What I need to do is open up one of the images uh, from the actual photo shoot. And this is the image with uh, the model Clarissa over to the left of the building. Let's see if we can make this as big as possible. And then uh, to make it fill the screen, go to Zoom and Fit Image to Window. There. Okay, so that's Clarissa there. Now what we need to do is, in this image, go to File, Open as Layers, and that is the next uh, one, two, three, four images that we're going to add on top of this. And you'll see them uh, starting to get loaded up to the side of the screen here. Now, I made a total mistake by not actually using my tripod here, and I actually just used a light stand. I just stuck my camera on top of a light stand and took these photos. So as you can see, the actual whole building slightly changes. Oh, I'll keep them. And what to do is, when you're doing a photo shoot like this, even if it's got people in different locations, do it exactly the same way you would do it if you were doing a, like a snowboard shoot. Have it going from one side to the other. So I at the top, I've got the person on the far right, and then a little bit less right, then right in the center, then to the left, and then far off to the left. So it makes it a lot easier to edit. Now, when uh, what to do is on the top image, the woman furthest on the right, Clarissa, uh, go right-click on the image and go down to Add Layer Mask. This is probably the most important thing you'll ever do in Photoshop photography stuff, is adding layer masks. And this one we're going to do black, black full transparency. So what that means is pretty much this whole image will disappear. It becomes transparent. So we add that. And what we do is we paint on the black layer mask, we paint on with white. And effectively what that does is that brings the image in the background back up. Back up. Um, and what we need to do is make sure the brush is nice and fuzzy because each of the images is a slightly different angle and position. And we want... Okay, so that's my brush nice and fuzzy. And if we go back to the image here, the Clarissa is in this shot, but the previous one, it was around about here. So here, and it, it's kind of like a ghost thing where she just suddenly appears in the image. And that's because I'm painting on the layer, which effectively is, is black and is making everything transparent. But if I paint on white, then all of a sudden what was transparent is now not. So just make sure that I've got all of her there. That looks good. That's her head, that's her arm, that's legs. Then on the next shot, Again, same thing, add layer mask, black full transparency, add. So here we've got the image of uh, Clarissa right in the middle of the screen, and we just need to paint her in at the side here with a nice soft fuzzy brush, paint her in. And as this walls have lots of, uh, kind of texture to them, any tiny changes in uh, camera movement, because it's not on a perfect tripod, isn't really noticeable at all especially when you use a fuzzy brush. Go to the next one. And here, paint Clarissa in right in the center of the image. Okay, and that's all the Clarissas added to the image. What we could do is give it a quick crop I go to the toolbox, click on this little kind of knife thing. Do it made from the top of the building. Alright, Okay, that looks good. Let's see how that comes out. And then go up to view, zoom, fit image to window. There. I think that's a pretty cool looking image there. Probably add to it by adding some, um, by slightly playing around with the curves. Maybe we could even do that thing that we did in the Louis Vuitton video where we make it black and white apart from. Oh, look what's happened. That's just on the final image. So, what we need to do is cancel and go flatten image. And what we'll do is we'll just save that just now, just in case anything screws up. Okay, so, now we can play around maybe with colors. With the curves, put that right up, bring it right down straight after. So that's given this kind of funky look to it. It's even totally messed up some of the colors 
So we've got this red in the background, we've got this red in our shoes as well, which is quite, wasn't expecting that one. Let's see if we can just refine that a little bit. Quite like that actually, that's quite a cool look. What we could do is add a bit of a motion blur to this, this could be quite cool. Let's see, we see what we're working with. Now if we're going to add a motion blur, we might as well add a decent motion blur length, get it up to something like that. Well, let's have it so it's coming from up the way, that'd be quite cool. And we'll quickly make a duplicate la layer before uh, that's added to everything. So then we can use another layer mask to get rid of it. Check out the motion blur image. So that's the blurry one, which is kind of haunting. And then obviously we've got the image on top, so what we can do is quickly go, go add layer mask, make it a full oh, transparency, keep it like that, and then we can paint in Clarissa so she's nice and sharp. So we'll get the paintbrush nice and sharp. Get her in there. Yep, something like that. That might just be a slightly different look to everything else. Uh, obviously I try and clean that up. Uh, if you want to clean it up, you just change the colour back to black, maybe make it a little bit smaller and go closer around, so that'll make it nice and blurry again. Get the shots in there. And we'll sort that out later on. Cool. Okay, tell me what you think. Cheers. Bye.